I don't know, basta mo nang ginagamit din sa stage. Uh, I like that mic better. Open your Bible to Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. Ang ginbasa natin, tunga lang, hasta lang sa verse 20. Uh, but uh, the message this morning is actually up to even chapter 20, uh, the first four verses of chapter 20. Uh, medyo lawig siya, no? Kaga, ang rason nga ang uh, ari kita subong sa Acts chapter 19 is because Acts chapter 19 is the context of Ephesians. Ang uh, Ephesus na nga mga tumulo, uh, amunin siya ang natabo sa ila. So starting next week, Pastor Aaron will uh, bring to us the book of Ephesians. So this is what happened na sa missionary ni journey ni Paul nga nga may Ephesus ka may Ephesians kita nga libro magapangamuyo kita Lord ginakomit namon sa imo sa sining aga ang imong pulong pagkaamon nga mga tagipusuon kagunahuna opti kami Ginoo sa sining aga nga makita namon kun sino gid si Jesus kag nga nga iproclaim siya namon Ginoo sa iban This is my prayer in the name of Jesus Amen Ah uh, ang uh, idea sa ni aga no nga nga gitawag ni siya gospel rush gospel rush kun basa ni mong Ephesians 19 it is so fast it is loaded kag uh, it's just everything from chaos to exorcism to uh, amo na siya ka, kapuno no and as if nga do kadasig sa mga hitabo diri mismo sa sa Acts chapter 19 uh, you can do that kagina no that's a portion of what we have read kag makit ana to no nga Why is this called gospel rush? No, as if something big here is happening. May mga bagay no nga dlaggo nga nagakaapektuhan kita tanan. Kag uh, subong no? ang unang huna sang tawo no especially sa Pilipinas and also around the world. Kay tungod ara ang FIBA, so FIBA ang unod sa unang huna no. May mga events nga that's why tungod sang FIBA nalipatan ang birthday ni Michelin. Imagine. No, it's because of FIBA, no birthday gali sa Friday. Sometimes no, may mga lagko nga mga events and then makibot ka ah, may amo ni gali. Uh, the big events will swallow up ang mga we think are small events. However, ano ba la ang nagadetermine kung ang isa ka event big enough and big enough to capture the awe in your heart. Sa so Ephesians chapter 19, this may not be a big event according to the world, but this is a big event according to what God has prepared for His people. Kag sa sininga aga, no? Aton na uh, talupang doon, kag uh, makitaan natin din, no? Because later on, ay hanari ka din subong, ay nagpamangkot ka, no? Anhon ko na sa akong negosyo. Anhon ko na sa akong nga uh, pag-eskwela. Anhon ko na sa akong nga uh, mga damo nga ginaubra sa kabuhi. Sa tuod lang git, mga kauturan, kung kisa nga aton nga ginapaminsar na lang, kung ano, paano natin i-go through ang isa kaadlaw. And we have lost sight of what of the big plan that God has for the world. So ari na lang kita diri nagapangita sang aton nga kinawad on and yet we lose sight of what God has planned for his people. I remember a group dynamics nga ginahatag ko sa mga estudyante ko no sa isa sa mga retreats nga natabo sang many years ago. Very simple no you can imagine this nagbutang ako sang butilya sa atubangan. And then yung papila ko sila in France ang mga butilya by group na sila. And then what I did was, sa amon kilit, may daw irrigasyon na siya, no? Daw irrigasyon, katinlo man sa tubig. So what I asked them to do is to get water from there, scoop water using their hands, and then ibutang nila sa bottle. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Go! So tagaan ko sila time, no? So makita mo naman, no? imagine mo naman mga estudyante. So kuha sila tubig, pila sila, and then butang nila to tika budlay man kay butilya gamay ang buho so i amuna nila no didagdali ang crap and then when the time is over okay time is up grabe no nag uh, magbatsagan mo gid no basta mga kabataan makita nila no gusto tululukay sila mga butilya tapos kabalo na sila <laughs> lawilaway la no hindi sila kapasulod no may atutuyang nga jutay jutay lang gid ang unod sang butilya kay kabudlay no May atutuyan nga group nga damo ila ang unod so galinumpat sila no? Galipay-lipay gin sila, woo! Kaming daog! Okay, announce ko na ako sinong winner! Ang ato niya game sa tuod lang git, padyutay-dyutay sang basa sa palibot sang butilya. All of a the sudden, their faces were... 
Pwede din you tell us that. Why mo na mangkot, no? Kaya excited na kamo. Amo ni aton nga halimbawa, no? Nakita na aton may butilya nga empty, nakita na aton may tubig. Somebody says, "Okay, butang na aton." Why kita kabalo? Kun ano gyud ta ang aton nga purpose? And so lagi, sigari kita kabutang sang tubig sa sulod sa sinang butilya, kay nagatulog kita sa iban, dio tay ila nga tubig, aton damo ang tubig sa pila ka adlaw pagatubang naton sa Ginoo, abi naton patamo damo tubig sa butilya. Kay gali, pojo tay dio tay usik. That is exactly what happens. When we talk about yesterday, we talked about sharing the gospel to others. And one of the great hindrances is that damo na kubra sa ako niya kabuhi, why in the world would I tell others about Jesus? Should I be adding something to my life? Katamo na sa ako, kasako na sa ako, namo na nito, hindi na ako kaisrot sa ako nga ginahimo. And yet, ma-share pa ko sa gospel to others? And we think everything that we are doing is just all there is. Kag-abi natun, ibutangan ta lang ang tubig. Kag-lipay kita kay damo ang tubig sa itong ibutilya compared sa iban. Without us knowing, hindi gali ang muna. So, in Ephesians chapter 19, we will see, we will see that the essence of why God has called these people is to tell other people about Him. Kag-ang challenge karon sa ato, no? How can I be part of God's movement. Ang main idea sa ato no sining aga is this, very simple, the promise in the gospel sa maayong balita no, the promise is there. The promise in the gospel Yan, kay kasakit sa dilunggan. Yan, salamat. Okay. Tama sa akin the promise in the gospel calls us to persevere in persuading people. The promise in the gospel calls us to persevere to persuade people. Ang promesa ng ara sa maayong balita, amuni siya ang nagatawag sa aton nga mag-persevere kita to persuade people. To persuade people. So let me share Four things, Sininaga, the gospel promise, gospel persuasion, gospel power, and gospel perseverance. Gospel promise, gospel persuasion, gospel promise, gospel persuasion, gospel power, and gospel perseverance. They are all connected to the gospel, and the first part here tells us of the promise. Ano na tabu? It is a chapter 19. Natabo no nga si Apollos ara sa Corinth and then si Paul nagkadto sa Ephesus kay may nakita dito siya nga mga disipulo. Pero notice ang ining mga disciples, did you receive ng ambal si Paul sila? Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe? Kag strange ang ilang asabat, kay ilang asabat and they said, "No. We have not heard that there is a Holy Spirit." Kag nagambal si Paul sa iya, in what then were you baptized? They said, into John's baptism. That is John the Baptist's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him. Actually, si John nagbaptize siya, pero na si John nagapanugiron, nga may ara will come after him. You can read that in John chapter 1. He is Jesus. So, nasanagan sila on hearing this, verse 5, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. There were about 12 men in Paul. Ano ang natabu diri? Nga nga gintawag ko ni siya nga gospel promise. Atong tandaan, no, that in the book of Acts, ang Acts amunin siya nag-record sa early history of the early church. Ano ang natabo right after nag-resurrect si Jesus? The promised Holy Spirit was given and yet, yet, ang church bago pa lang kasugod. In fact, hindi pa nila, hindi pa klaro sa ila kung anong itsura sa ni. That's why sa Acts chapter 2, ato nila matalupang dan nga si Peter sang iya pagpangwali 
notice no kung basahon mo ang Acts chapter 2 the center of the preaching of Peter is no other than Jesus himself crucified and raised from the dead kag samta nagapangwali siya natingala ang mga tao nga ang maintindihan nila sa ilang lingwahe this is the spread of the good news in Christ Acts chapter 2 Kagrabi ang pagtay og no bangot especially sa kay Peter because ang iya nga huna-huna nga ang kaluwasan para lang gid sa Hudiyo. It has to take may mga movements na no Acts chapter 8 makit ani mo dira nga may naga may naluwas nga Ethiopian eunuch hindi siya Hudiyo. Acts chapter 9 naluwas si Apostle Paul. Acts chapter 10 may ara pa gid istorya. Tanawan niyo lang istorya sa Acts chapter 10. It took chap Acts chapter 10 para maintindihan ni Peter na ang kaluwasan is not limited to the Jews. Abi nila sa mga Hudiyo lang git. Basahan ko sa inyo, no? Acts chapter 10 para maintindihan nato ng Acts 19, 1 to 5. Acts chapter, 10, uh, Acts chapter 10, ang nahambal sa Acts chapter 10, no? Ang context na sina, medyo lawig na siya. May vision na si Pedro. Agang vision nila, na gin, ginahumlad ang banig. Tapos habol gali no? Tapos nakita niya mga unclean animals. Tapos ginhambalan siya nga kaunon. Kaya naghambal siya sa gino. Sorry, why ko nagkakaon? And then the vision came again. Kaya ginhumlaran sa liwat sa habol. Tapos yung mga unclean nga mga food. Why ko yung kakaon? Baboy. And yet naghambalan gino sa iya. Ang gintawag na akong nga clean. Hindi mo pagtawag ko nga unclean. Why siya kainsindi ko na ano ang vision? But he was led to the house of a person. That person's name is Cornelius. Si Cornelius, hindi na siya hudiyo. To make the long story short, nagkadto si Pedro sa ila. Kag-ari ang natabo, no? Pagkadto ni Pedro sa ila, eh, lipoton ko lang, no? Nagwali si Peter. Notice, no? This is very consistent in the book of Acts that they were preaching nothing else except Christ and Him crucified. In chapter 10, amo man ang iyang ginwali, no? About Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and how God has raised him from the dead. That is chapter 10, uh, Halitza verse 36. You can read that. Here's verse 44 of Acts chapter 10. When, while Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. And the believers among the Jews who came with Peter were amazed. Ang mga hudiyo na amazed sila. Nga aman? Because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out on even on the Gentiles. Ay ara manggali sa ila ang gift of the Holy Spirit? Ah, binamun sa amon lang. So this is Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 19. Aton ah, makit ano? That this is God fulfilling His promise. Do you know where this promise came from? This promise is traceable even to Abraham. Genesis chapter 12, the nations will be blessed through you. At, uh, Genesis chapter 15, you will have a son that your descendants will be as many as the stars in heaven. Genesis chapter 17, ang blessing sa mga nations maagi paagi sa imo. Hindi na klaro sa ila, no? Abi nila sila lang, no? Mga hudiyo. But the blessings to the nations, the fullness of that is actually the people of God, the church. So natingala sila, no? Ay sila gali. Nakabaton man sa pulong sa ginoo. Nabaton man nila ang Holy Spirit. Ara man gali ang pagpakamaayo sa ginoo sa iya. A fulfillment of God's promise. So kung mabalik kita sa Acts chapter 19, anong ginahambal ni Dino? Sa naghambal si Paul sa ila, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe? Ang sabat nila, why kami nakabalo? Now magsiling kita nga why sila kabalo, it does not mean why sila kabalo about the Holy Spirit. They know. Because John the Baptist could have told them what the Holy Spirit is all about. And John the Baptist could have told them that there is one coming and that is Jesus. However, ang ilang idea may have been incomplete. So, ang initial nga portions ng scripture, I have to be very careful here, no? Ang narrative bala sa scriptures, hindi na siya normative. Magsiling ka narrative, amun na siyang ginsaysay. Magsiling ka normative, but silingon amugin na ang aton himuon. 
Ang ini siya nga bagay subong why na ni siya nagakatabo. Si Apostle Paul, please note, Apostle Paul is not the dispenser of the Holy Spirit. Kay makita tadi no? When Apostle Paul laid his hands, the Holy Spirit came on them. My purpose ni siya no? This is apostolic authority para ipakita sa ila nga sila gali bahin sila sang promise sang Ginoo traceable even to the Old Testament. Kag subong ang nagakatabo is the fulfillment of what God has promised to bless the nations. The blessing to the nations is are not goods. The blessings to the nation is salvation in the name of Jesus. So nakit na to diri no they were baptized in the name of Jesus kag nakit anila and the speaking in tongues here and prophesying amo ni siya ang external evidence nga hindi lang sa mga hudi yu gali nagabot ang Holy Spirit it is to everyone nga nagabelieve kay Jesus. So ang speaking in tongues here hindi ni siya nga kung Christian ka mas speak in tongues ka gid. This is unique. Again, no? i-anchor mong imo understanding Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 19. Ang purpose na nga kung nag-speak in tongues did to si Pedro sa Acts chapter 2 ang pagpakamaayo sang Ginoo malambot man sa indi mga Hudiyo. Malambot man sa ila kag amo ni siya ang ginpakita ni Apostle Paul that the promise of the gospel will actually fall upon the Gentiles. So in Ninga portion, on hearing this, grabe no? Amunis la ang mga early Christians in Ephesus. Nagbaton sang pagpakamaayo sang ginoo. Salvation in Christ. My external manifestation that speaking in tongues and prophesying, but this is not the norm for every Christian. In short, ang ako nang ginginhambal mo ni, no? Ang ininga portion tells us that this promise in the gospel is to all nations. Makalambot even sa mga tao na hindi ko di yun. Let's go to the second point. Gospel persuasion. Ano ginubra ni Paul? He entered the synagogue and for three months, look at these words, spoke boldly reasoning and persuading them about the kingdom of God. That's why important digit ang natabo kagapon sa church. Because gintuluan sila namun, anugid ang content sa maayong balita. And we have to make the message, we have to get the message right before we tell somebody about the message. Kay base, hindi klaro sa imo ang message, kaglain-lain nga message ang imo nga mahambal. Ay, bigado, ikus bong balamanay. Batu na si Jesus kaya manggaranon ka. Amen. Let's pray. Ano to siyang gin-share mo? Gospel. Hindi na siya gospel. That's why si Apostle Paul was speaking boldly. He was reasoning because he knows ginaplastar niya ang istorya niya. Klaro ang maayong balita sa iya. Kabay pa klaro man sa ato, no? Hindi lang nga daw ginahambal ta lang, no? Nga nasubuan ka, bato na si Jesus kay malipay ka na. Nabaton ko na siya, nga doon ka subuki ako na, bato na siya liwan. Ano nga pa maagi ako malipay kung bato ko si Jesus? So, hindi klaro ang gospel, hindi klaro ang mayong balita. So, Apostle Paul was speaking boldly, reasoning, persuading about the kingdom of God. In fact, hindi lang ano no, hindi lang uh, reasoning, grabe no, boldly reasoning, persuading, and he did this continually and he did this broadly. Ara oh, ara nakabutang sa verse 9. Reasoning daily in the hall of Tyrannos, he continued for 2 years and all the residents of the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord, both Jews and Greeks. Kung nangyong mga Bible, may footnote sa dalong, may ginasulat nila, no? Nga ang Hall of Tyrannos, di ba? May iba nila ang agindugangan nila from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. for two years. Daily. Ay, grabe. 
This is gospel persuasion. Kita ya, pag share tas ang gospel, duhay mo to sa gana o mati, bahala na sa. Hindi na ko yung magliwat ya. Ah, uh, amuda na, no? Siya ya, si Apostle Paul, nakasugata man sa doon hindi mayo ginawa. Araw? When some became stubborn and continued in unbelief, speaking evil of the way, by the way, ang the way na, Ano na siya, no? Amo ng mga ngala ng panawag nila sa una sa mga Christians, no? Followers of the way. Speaking evil of the way before the congregation, ang ginimo ni Paul, grabing ilang uh, katigas ang ilang heart, no? Si Apostle Paul, why nag-surrender? Nagkanto siya sa lain nga lugar, dira sa lapit lang, so kung hindi sa hindi nga barangay, hindi masayla to this nga barangay, kag nagpadayon siya sa pagpanudlo, sa the same mga balita. That is gospel persuasion. By the way, mga kauturan, It is necessary, necessary that we are persuading people. Eh, mo naman ba sa text, no? Persuade. Gusto ka man magpati kay Jesus? Hindi. Okay. Ay, hindi na yan persuasion. Hindi na yan persuasion. Alam ka namin, bila kay Jesus. Doon ka namin, makay Jesus, no? Do, hindi kita. Ganit. Kiss alam mo, hindi kita na. Oh, where is the persuasion? Kagapo, no? Ginpakita sa amon? Unless, unless you believe in Christ, mapatay ka sa imong sala. And you will really be condemned in hell. And I am persuading you, samtang may tinion pa, believe in Christ rather than live your own life. I am persuading you, not so that I will gain points about the best persuasive speaker ever, But it is because I care for your soul. I want to persuade you. There is no other way. Jesus is not one of the ways. I want to persuade you. That is gospel persuasion. Where is this gospel persuasion coming from? It's in the gospel promise. Grabing subpo, no? Let's move on. So that's gospel persuasion. Boldly, reasoning, that means he knows the gospel, continually, For two years, and then daily, and then broadly. In the province of Asia, God's word has spread. Next part. Grabing mundod sa storya dali sa Bible, no? And God was doing extraordinary miracles by the hands of Paul. Now, please note, ang Diyos ang kaubrasin na. Kaya I think na nami, ang ikamos ang verse 12. Some of you are beginning to memorize it. So that even handkerchiefs or aprons that had touched his skin were, were carried away to the sick and their diseases left them and the evil spirits came out of them. How do you like that? Amunin siya bala ang panyo maging trapo ni Pastor si Abalas. Pili niya na karoon sa tubangan na, no? And then tumod na katando sa iyang balhas, no? Sa iyang... Grabe, no? Ang panyo nga nakatando sa kay Apostle Paul, ginpahikap sa may dengue, wala na dula ang dengue. Grabe! So I think we need to have handkerchief ministry. How do you like that? Mga kauturan, pagwa ang mga panyo. Nakita na ka man, ha? Iwagayway. No? Ang mga wala panyo dira, pagwa ang wallet. Buksan! Dahil ang Panginoon, bubuksan niya ang kanyang kaharian. Ari bibigay sa inyo kung ano ang dapat ilalagay sa inyong wallet. Kaya dapat pagpunta sa iglesia, magdala ng malaking wallet. Hindi purse. Kasi magbibigay si Lord ng malaking Himala! Himala! Ito na, mga kapatid, ang oras ng Himala. Pwede na po ka kulto nga, leader, no? I think I'm uh, charismatic enough no, to do that. And then I think some of you are already touching your wallets. No? Until you realize, I joke kali, no? panyo, oh, grabe, apron, pag-i-diyan, no? Dalaan yung mga apron, yung sunday, sunday, 
kapon ko na nadalo nyo sa inyo nga kusina kay pag amun nyo na sa inyo nga kusina ay grabe kitchen showcase matabos na wala wala yung kitchen no? brothers and sisters this is a narrative this is not normative please note it is God who makes the extraordinary miracles pag ang ginoo may tuyo siya because he wants grabe ang context ang Ephesus no no wonder the armor of God is spoken of in Ephesians chapter 6 there's a reason for that ang evil spirits and even sickness na pala yung grabe sa gahom sa ginoo but this is not the norm hambalon ta kamo this is not the norm so that you don't go home and get your handkerchiefs and bring them to kag itrapo o kay sino nyo na itrapo higko na kay para magmilagro hindi nyo naging kuha sa Bible oh, nabasaan ko sa Bible this is not the norm and you don't expect this to happen all the time That's not the case. In fact, ang ini nga text mismo, nagahambal sa aton, nga may mga tao, nga na minsar sila, that's the formula. Tanawa ba lang sugpon? Oh, nakita nila, ay grabe nga gahom. Ari ay. Then, some of the Jewish exorcists, ay imagine nyo mga tsura nila, no? black ang t-shirt, black ang kilay, black pag it's a dalong nisang mata, no? mga exorcists nila sila, no? ay kung si may cross nila sila, no? or may mga... Lagbae lang ako. Huwag ko kabalawan na nila mga tsura. No? They, we don't know much about them. Do you know what they did? They undertook to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, I adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul proclaims. The, these are called the seven sons of the high priest Siva or Skiva. Ano ginubra nila? Siguro nagamiting sila, nakita nila, oh grabe, kita nyo itong power, oh. Anong ginambal nila? Ang muna ginambal nila, oh. In the name of Jesus. Uy! Gamiton na siya. Abi nila, mantra. Every time nga, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Nagamukha muna sa inyo balay, ano? Kasi ano, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. O nga rin na do. Gusto ko, Lord, pagwa ko da, may tricycle da yun, oh. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Numakwa ko da yun, oh. Gusto ko madulum lang anay, kito ka ginhong, ginsubong, no? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ginkamit nila ng formula. Actually, uh, Schneider was saying, Luke wrote this quite funny. Siling niya, tanong niyo hambalas ang spirit. Jesus I know, Paul I recognize, but who are you? <laughs> Ang malain nga espiritu. Ang demonyo mismo, no? Ari, ay! May bago kami nga nabalaan. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Siguro yung mga ano-ano ba, no? In the name of Jesus. Siguro yung demonyo, siguro yung... Jesus, kilala ko si Jesus? Si Paul, kilala ko man? Ikaw sino ka? That's... That's humorous, no? Ang anong ginimus, ang malain nga espiritu. Ang malain nga espiritu, dito mismo. They call this their... I think ESV notes tells us of the reverse exorcism. Imbis nga ang demonyo magwa, ang demonyo nagsailo sa nag exorcise This is to show us that the devil, his demons, grabe ang gahom sa ginoon. Pero tandaan natin na ang gahom sa ginoon is not under our disposal according to some formula. I know the formula, I can dispose of God's power. That is never the case. That is not the case. Si Apostle Paul may tinutuyo. And ang tuyo niya gin, no? This is also, tanawan niyo blang sugpo, no? This is because of the prevailing power of the gospel. The prevailing power of the gospel. Mga kauturan, bisan pa si Jesus. Always bear in mind that when Jesus does miracles, when Paul, Peter, Do miracles. They do not do them so that they will show to people, we are the miracle workers. When they show and do miracles, they have, that they will bring people to the knowledge of Jesus so that people will be saved. It is never because I am a miracle worker. Kita nyo ito kagina, gini mo popula ang tubig. Grabe no, grabe no. 
Phenophthalene to siya, no? Called sodium carbonate. And that was chemistry. It was not a miracle. Basi may ari-dari sa inyo, nagahambal nga miracle worker, kuno? Amo to mawagin ulak po to, kay basi imno nyo to. That was poison. Only Jesus can turn water to wine and there is a reason why He did the miracle. This is the prevailing power of the gospel. Tanawa ang sugpon. Tanawa ang sugpon, no? Nagsailo sa ila. Anong natabog? Verse 17. And this became known to all the residents of Ephesus. Hudiyo man, kag hindi hudiyo. Fear fell upon them all. Nakita nilang natabo, no? Sa seven sons of Siva. And the name of the Lord Jesus was extolled. That's the purpose. Ano ang effect sa ilang? Many of those who were now believers came confessing and divulging their practices. And a number of those who had practiced magic arts brought their books together, burned them in the sight of all, and they counted the value of them, and it came to 50,000 pieces of silver. ESV notes tells us this is about $6 million. They burned them. They destroy. Pero kadalong sinino? Bangod kun ikaw, Kristuhanon, kun ikaw nakitani mo kung sino si Jesus, you are not asked to surrender a portion of your life. You are called to the Lordship of Jesus and you surrender everything. Grabe si Jesus, no? Pangwaon na ni Aton yung mga anting-anting. Except sa dila sang kilat. Tatay ni Pastor Aaron, kadumdong ka muna sa story ay, may ara sa ginatago ma dila sang kilat. Kagtungod sina, hindi siya maano. Kay military siya mo, no? Nasurrender ko na ang life ko sa ginoo except sang dila sang kilat. In surrender ko ng life ko sa ginoo, no? Pangwaon ko na ni siya, no? Except si ni kay Abalo ka, Pastor, ang kining akon nga lucky charm. Kung wala ni siya, wala na akong ginasok-sok. Padasig sa akong magmasakit. Pero ka namin kay Jesus, ha? You can't. It's either you believe in your lucky charm or you accept Jesus as Lord. Jesus is not a lucky charm. Jesus is the Lord of the universe. You give your life to Him, you are secured in Him. It is not the lucky charm that secures you. Ang munang budlay sa ito, no? Christian na ta, pero nagatakod kita giyapon, sang amuni kay amuni siya giyapon niya ang nagpalayo sang manas. Nagkato. Sino nagkato sa inyo sa patay ng gapon? Ginbili ninyong inyong abayo sa guha? Inyong mga chinilas? Basingin dala ninyong yabok. Kay halin ka sa patay. Magasulod ang manas sa inyo ng abalay. Amoy ninyong inyong horoscope sa sininga aga. Nga amok na sila, no? We have Jesus and yet we want to put more. That's why in Ephesus, sa nakita nila, no, we have to burn everything. And just think about this. If the worth of everything that was burned was six million dollars, do you think they were not looking at it as ang akon to bala nga laki siya. Ito grabe. Ito mong kamahal-mahal sa makal ko to. 20K. Kaya hindi kayo ganyan madutlan COVID. Nabutan ko di yung ginsunog mo lang. Bro. Gra grabe, no? So imagine nun mo, no? Pero sa tuod lang mga kauturan, there is no cost that you can exchange that is far greater than who Jesus is. Ay, kanugon! Uh, hindi ko na mag-give up. Kay kanugon! By the way, it's not just the things that we have. It could also be a relationship that we have. Hindi ko na ma-exchange kay kanugon! Hindi ko na mabuyan kay kanugon! Do you notice that? It's either we hold on to that something or we realize that Jesus is really Lord and if He is, we can have everything burned before Him. Let me ask you, is there something you're still holding on? But you're saying, 
I cannot give this up. I cannot give this up. I cannot share the gospel to others. I cannot give this up. I cannot give this up. And the greatest hindrance of sharing the gospel to others is ourselves. Because we are more important. We think we are more important. Hindi ko gusto mahuyan. Kasi nuhag yun nga, hindi ka gusto mahuyan. Hindi ko gusto mahuyan. Hindi ko gusto nga maglayo ay kami. So, as talang napatayan ako ng amigo, para nasa sa impyerno, so boom, wala ko gandiyan hambalan. Wala kayo, no? Kaya hindi ko gusto nga mahuyan. This is great revival. By the way, grabe, the gospel, always remember, no? This is gospel power. And the gospel is always offensive. It will offend people. Tanawa niyo lang sukupon. Let me just jump. Naglakat si, nag-insend ni, Apo, ni Apostle Paul, si Timothy, kag si Erasto sa Macedonia, but he stayed in Asia. And there's another character here. His name is Demetrius. Tanawa na ito, no? About the time there arose no little disturbance concerning the way or the Christians or Christianity. For a man named Demetrius, a silversmith, who had made silver shrines for Artemis. Artemis, goddess na siya. Nga bantog sa Ephesus. Bantog sa bilog na kalibutan. Brought no little business to the craftsmen. Did you hear that? But silingon, may aradira nga nagapanghimo sa mga santo-santo kag dako ang kita nila. Dako ang ila problema ni. Nagtipon sila, no? Ano hambal ni Demetrius? Men, you know that from this business we have our wealth. Magmanggara nun kita tungod sa aton nga business. Pero, you see and hear that not only in Ephesus but in almost all of Asia This Paul persu- has persuaded and turned a great many people saying that the gods made with hands are not gods. And there is danger not only that this trade of ours may come into disrepute, but also the temple of the great goddess Artemis may be counted as nothing, that she may even be deposed of her magnificence. She whom all Asia and the world worship. Uh, problema, tani. Problema, gini, no? Kung ang inyong... Uh, nakita niyo itong pagtublag? Not a small thing. Ako nag-negosyo ko. Kanami sa ako niya negosyo. Dako nga ako niya kita. Nagabaligi ako sa mga estatwa ni Artemis. Kag, mayo kinang kita. Malo kasi Artemis ni is a goddess of fertility. Grabe ang worship sa ila, no? Uh, it is also, may lakot man na siya, no? Nga sensuality sa ilang worship. So, damo. Damo ang nalibay sina. Though, mga kauturan, ang kaangaya daw mo ni, no? Ang mayor, rabi na Christian. Tapos yung dula, yung maskara. Ano yan ang matapo? Can, can you picture it out? Mga kauturan! I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why this year I am going to make a proclamation. Kagina kulto ko sa leader ko sa kulto no subong mayor naman no. This year will be one of the greatest year ever in Bacolod. We will not celebrate mascara. Pan niya pan mga inasal. Paano niya ba niya mga bottle drinks na ginabalik niya? Paano niya ang ano? Ma, 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 may hermano ta? Ma-worship. Can you feel the impact? Demetrius could have been one of the known silversmiths. Maybe na minami siya mag-ukit, no? Silver materials, mga, mga, mga ribulto, and everything related to Diana and to the worship of Artemis. And yet, Paul, when the gospel was introduced, this Paul is saying, and this is funny, because Demetrius himself knows what Paul is saying was the gods that you are making are not really gods. And he knows it. And yet, he makes money out of it. And so, he is calling people, Batu Antony kay mapatay ang aton nga negosyo kung si Jesus ang Lord sang aton nga kabuhi. Have you ever thought of that? 
Have you ever thought of that? I may lose a lot if Jesus is the Lord of my life. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. Yes, you will. And you will find the greatest joy in Him. Ang natabo diri, nag-stir sila sa uproar, nagsinggitan sila, patunog-tunog singgit, Great is Diana or Artemis of the Ephesus. Asa nga grabe na ang confusion. Ang ending sa chapter 19 is somebody stood, no? the town clerk or the administrative officer. Ara sa verse 35. Hindi naman siya diyan. Muna nung katabo, no? Siling niya, Men of Ephesus, who is there who does not know that the city of Ephesians is the temple keeper of the great Artemis. Kabalo kita si Nitanan! And of the sacred stone that fell from the sky. That expression could mean nga posibli abi na nila, no? Nga because of something that fell from the sky, nga ila, nga istorya nga nabatian, gagawin mo na ang mga Diyos base nga naghatag sa ila sa kay Artemis. Kabalo kita si Nitanan, no? Si Artemis, naghali na siya sa isa kabatong na hulog kari. So, kabalo kita si Nitanan, historically speaking. Seeing that these things cannot be denied, you ought to be quiet and do nothing rash. Why? Verse 37. For you have brought these men here, town clerk niya, administrative officer, pero ano sila niya? Who are neither sacrilegious nor blasphemers of our goddess. If Demetrius has problem, let him go to the court. The town clerk realized Nga si Apostle Paul was not actually going there and saying, Artemis, laway na! Hindi amuna, no? Hindi amuna. It's like this. When you share the gospel, sometimes ang katabo sa ito na muna, no? Ano ka, ano ka? Uh, Katulik ka? Palapiti, salaka! Salaka! Hindi sa kapanagang, no? Tapos ang pagpulik na lang sa akin, nga, pagsugatan na inyo, no? Salaka! Ikaw yan, ano ka? Hindi ka katulik ka, ano ka? Iglesia ka? They were not sacrilegious. They were not going around. Kaginabandal nila. No, ginabandalize nila. They were not doing that. What were they doing? They were telling the, pe the people that there is only one Lord, and that is Jesus. And when Jesus becomes your Lord, you will necessarily surrender. Artemis. Necessarily. They cannot occupy the same place at the same time. Jesus will dislodge your God. Amuna ang problema, no? Because when you tell them that, mapahigad yun. Have you noticed? Grabe, no? The gospel promise makes us gospel persuaders. And by gospel persuasion, we realize that the power is also in the gospel. No wonder when you go to chapter 20, close no? After the uproar, Paul sent for the disciples and after encouraging them. Don't you find that strange? Sino nag encourage nila? Si Apostle Paul, who was actually told earlier, I think that's verse 30, na hindi ka di magpalapit kay pa patay ka but Apostle Paul kept on encouraging them. This is gospel perseverance. You cannot stop me telling Jesus, telling others about Jesus. When he had gone through those regions, he had given them much encouragement. He came to Greece. There he spent three months. And when a plot was made against him by the Jews, he was about to set sail for Syria. He decided to return through Macedonia. Grabe no? Ginhinga siya. And to what ginhinga about siya, nagapalagyo lang siya. Kasi sometimes nagapalagyo siya, he still brings the message of the gospel with him. Kung sa aton pa, kung kita hinga buton, nga mapadayon pa kita. Kay ginahinga but na ko. No? Naghatag lang ko sa bala sa hon sa iya. Paghatag ko sa iya. Bogin dakop niya gid. Pag dakop ko gid ko mo sigit. Tapos ginulo gyud sa akong tubag. Tapos nagpuli ko pag nagibi. Hindi na ko magliwat. Grabe sa aton ka, ano, no? Grabe sa aton ka, sensitive. Ano ang sensitivity ni Paul? Ang iyang sensitivity is the message of the gospel. Ano ang aton nga sensitivity? It's ourself. 
We're so sensitive when ourselves are touched. The promise of the gospel is what calls us to persevere in persuading people. Let me ask you or tell you several things, and this is the closing. Number one, the gospel is essentially offensive. Amen. Because part of the Asturia is that you tell people they are guilty and they are condemned. That's why it is offensive. Offensive siya sa kay Demetrius. Offensive siya sa mga tao mo nga stubborn. Kay hindi kuya gusto magpati. Tungod, the gospel brings you the message that you are guilty. And nobody wants to be told he is guilty. Are you offended by the gospel? Praise God. Turn to the Savior. The gospel is really offensive. Number two, you might think the gospel is a formula. Pariya sa sons of Siva. Mga the gospel is not a formula. Coming to church is not a formula. Praying is not a formula. Magsiling kita formula. Abi na tonton mo unta na. Amo gina siya matabo. Nga nagmasakit ka? Huwag ka na ng simba mo. Simba lang ay madula na masakit mo. Ay, oo. Oh. Sa nagsugod ko pala simba? Huwag na ko nang masakit. Amo na yung uh, bisan late ko ya. Aga simba ko. Para hindi ko magmasakit. Grabe no? Ang simbahan, do formula. Kung maghatag ka pala, hindi ka tapong manang yung mga kita. Ah, so, ginagamit na ito niya formula. That is what the Bible, not the, what the Bible teaches. You might think the gospel is a formula. It is not a formula. It is centered on the person and work of Christ. If you don't know Him, even if you know a formula, it's not going to matter to you. Number three, if you truly understand what the gospel is, you will surrender everything. Everything. So, good line, no? Everything. Asta yung mga relationships. Pagapo, no? May ginistorya ko. Karami siya pa mangkot, no? Siling niya. Paano mong balaan nga assured ka gin sa yung mga kaluwasan? Kana may isang mga surya na yun, anay. Anay ask. Kung kisa bala, na-stop ka na yung Facebook, no? Pamuyong ka na yun. Ngayon kisa, hindi na na mag-stop, no? Pamalandong ka, no? What is the best thing you ever had? And then ask yourself, what if you lose that? What if you lose that? Would you lose all hope if you lose that? Example, if the best thing you have is your car, if I lose my car, di ko kabalong na ako ng mood. Gabi na? The best thing I have is my girlfriend or my boyfriend. Kung hindi na nasiya ka-message siya, grabe na gano'n. Grabe na gano'n. Katalong sa ako na kasubo. Bisan masimba pa ko bilog na adlaw sa Domingo, hindi gin madula. Kung hindi ko mabatean ang iyangan. Hello? Grabe. Amo gini pinakanami kung kwaon mo na. Ah, kakanami sinin no? Because kung kristuhanon ka, what if God takes this? And then you can still say, Lord, for as long as I have you, I will be okay. That is a Christian. Palangga, palangga, kung kita ako nasawa, hindi ko gusto madula siya. Madula siya, babe. Hindi na ako magsimba. Klase nga, ginoo na, kamalo na ginsya nga mo niya ako nga pagka ka-close akong asawa, tapos kuha ko niya, ano klase nga ginuho na? Amen? Pulbaan ka mo. <coughs> what if God takes her, Lord, for as long as you are with me? Nakita niyo? Nakita niyo kundi. That's number three. The last one. As a Christian, because God promised to save people, let us persevere to persuade others about the gospel. We will have more gospel trainings in the church. Kung kisa, nagpaminsan kita, no, ang problema sa simbahan, may amuni, may amuni, may amuni, gulpi lang, magulan, natulo naman, ang problema sa simbahan. And sometimes we forget 
We want to get the gospel message out. Na, nalipat na kita. Na. Somebody beside you, somebody near you, may have not heard of the gospel. Ikaw ang kimintan sa ginawa. Will you surrender your life to be a gospel minister? Not because you're a pastor or a church worker, but because you're a Christian. Let us pray. Lord, nagpasalamat kami because the par- promise in the gospel that is the blessing to the nations is what calls us to persevere in persuading people. Patawala kami, Lord, kung ang ininga istorya, hindi tako sa amon na taging pasukan. Lord, ikaw magtandog sa mga katawahan din sa buong mga ayhan, nag-struggle sila, Lord, sa paghangop, sa maayong balita, nga sa kay Kristo. Kabay pa, Lord, na kung matalupang dan nila, you know, they will come and surrender everything. Para sa nakita ng mga ginoon, they even have to burn all the books and lucky charms because kabalo sila nga Jesus is Lord of all. Buksi, Lord, at ila tagipusukan para kami gino makaupod sa pagsimba sa among matutuon na Dios sa ngalan ni Jesus in a prayer Amen.